Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Courtney Gooseman. Let's get right to meteorologist Ed Curran with a look at today's slightly cooler forecast. It looks like it'll be a perfect day, Ed. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. People around Chicago are cleaning up from last night's severe storms. This morning, roughly 37,000 people are still without power. At least 20,000 of those outages fall in the suburbs. And just take a look at this large tree in Skokie ripped right from the ground. The grass still attached to the roots. People who ventured out saw plenty of downed trees and damage all across the area. A woman sitting on her couch was severely hurt when construction debris crashed through the roof. It happened near Ashland and Division. Neighbors in the building's landlord say the construction site wasn't secure. Burbank police say a baby died in his parents' car last night. Officers tell us the parents found the 20-month-old boy unresponsive in the family car in the 4800 block of West 85th Street. Officers believe the child was left unattended in the car during yesterday's stifling temperatures. The official cause of death is still under investigation. And coming up on CBS this morning, a possible women's health crisis in America. New statistics show women are over drinking, overdosing, and burning out. We'll see you back here at CBS. 657. Good morning. I'm Courtney Gooseman. We start with a look at our forecast with Ed Curran. Ed? And Courtney, it'll be a cooler day today. That's good. Thank you so much, Ed. More than 31,000 people are still without power this morning after severe weather pounded the Chicago area. In north suburban Glenview, cars had to plow through standing water on Waukegan Road after the rain hit. The storms created a serious headache for Metro riders on the north, northwest, and west lines. This is a Metro train stopped dead on its track at I-90 and North Avenue last night. Union Pacific decided not to operate trains during last night's severe weather. Some passengers were delayed more than two hours, and this is the scene at the Ogilvy Transportation Center during the late evening rush hour. One man is dead, two others hurt in a shooting early this morning in Chicago's Bridgeport neighborhood. It happened in an apartment building just before 3 this morning in the 3800 block of South Halsted. The three men shot were in the apartment with others when shots were fired. A 21-year-old was killed after being shot in the chest. A second gunshot victim was found in a car that crashed on South Wentworth Avenue a short time later. So far, no one is in custody. Coming up on CBS This Morning, 16 years since the death of Princess Diana and the British are now examining new information. We'll see you here in 30 minutes. Good morning, I'm Courtney Gooseman. It's a rainy start to our Saturday morning and we're looking at a live picture across from the CBS Broadcast Center. Certainly a wet look at Daily Plaza. Meteorologist Ed Curran is here to tell us more. Hey, Ed. Yeah, Courtney, there's not a lot of wet out there, but it's 76 degrees and sunshine returns. Courtney. Thanks, Ed. The storm that roared into Chicago last night knocked down trees all over the city and suburbs, leaving at least 30,000 people without power this morning. One large tree fell on top of two homes in Mundelein. Jim Bose says he was in the living room when a tree came out from the front of his home, crashing into his home. What was it like inside the house when it hit it? Uh, it shook. The whole house shook. We were lucky. We just got superficial damage as far as I can see for right uh, now. Just blocks away, Michelle Gregory also lost a tree from the front of her house. That tree took out a transformer and a power pole. Two firefighters are recovering after getting hurt in what appears to be a weather-related fire. It happened in North Suburban Skokie. Both firefighters were taken to the hospital. Firefighters are investigating whether the house fire in the 7400 block of Kenneth was started by lightning. Both firefighters suffered from heat exhaustion. And on CBS This Morning, new research suggests money can buy happiness if you spend it on an experience. We'll be back at 757. Good morning. I'm Courtney Gooseman. Let's start with meteorologist Ed Kern in today's forecast. Ed. People around Chicago are cleaning up from last night's severe storms. Roughly 31,000 people are still without power. Those who ventured outside saw plenty of downed trees and damage. One man is dead, two others hurt in an early morning shooting in Bridgeport. It happened in an apartment in the 3800 block of South Halsted. A 21 year old was shot in the chest and killed. Another man was found shot in a car and crashed on South Wentworth. And that's it for us right now. Make sure to tune in for CBS Tonight at 5.